Hey Tai here, so welcome to the VRTech channel, welcome back to the True Lenses series, the series with the stick camera in front of the lenses of our VR headsets to see which one is the best, which one is the right for you. Now this video was highly, highly requested and of course we're talking about the PC VR comparison between the MetaQuest 3 with two LCD displays with the resolution of 2064 by 2208 pair I running up to 120 Hz and the new generation pancake lenses with its predecessor the MetaQuest 2 with a single LCD display with a resolution of 1832 by 1920 pair I running up to 120 Hz with all Fresnel lenses and the MetaQuest Pro with two LCD displays with local dimming with a resolution of 1920 by the 1800 pixels per eye running up to 90 yards with the next generation packing lenses. So let's see how they handle link with the full power of the PC with a 4090 in there. And yeah, the results are very interesting indeed for this little guy. So let's buckle up and enjoy together this comparison, but remember, as always, this is not a science, these screens, these lenses are made for your eyes and not for the lenses of your camera. So take your own conclusions, see what you wanna see, but we're gonna talk about all the details at the end of the comparison. Also a little shameless plug, if you actually enjoy these kind of videos, please remember to leave a like because they take very long time to make. Leave a like. So well, let's get into it.
And here we have it. This was the comparison between the MetaQuest 3, the MetaQuest 2, and the MetaQuest Pro. And I have to say that the results were very, very interesting and kind of unexpected in some ways in regards of the Quest Pro and the Quest 3. Because the big question that I got from the previous video is like, is it actually worth it to upgrade? from the Quest 2 to the Quest 3 for PC VR use or from the Quest Pro to the Quest 3 as well. And well, it really depends. As we said in the previous video, the big perk of the Meta Quest 3 are actually the new lenses. They are not Fresnel lenses anymore like a Quest 2. As we said, the Fresnel lenses were made to actually hide the screen door effect. That's why you see it less in this comparison. It's actually less noticeable than in the Quest 3 and the Quest Pro because the Quest 3 and the Quest Pro use the new generation packing lenses. These are absolutely extra crisp and you can see every little detail. And it doesn't really matter if you're looking in the center or you're looking at the peripheral view. Usually everything remains very clear. They're actually the best lenses on the market right now that you can get. While it's kind of hard to convey during the true analysis videos because we're actually using a crop of the crop of the image that you actually see when you're wearing them. So already we're kind of around the sweet spot, you can tell that going out of the middle of the picture, you already lose a lot of clarity with the frontal lenses of the Quest 2. Instead, with the Quest 3 and the Quest Pro, well, everything remains pretty much the same completely enjoyable. And that means that you can actually start to look around with your eyes instead of using your entire 
head to actually look something on your left, on your right. And that's a big perk. Did the Quest 2 become a bad headset for PC VR? No, absolutely. If you crank up the resolution, it's still very good and enjoyable as well. It's just you can compare it with the Pancake Lenses, an experience that you gotta try. Again, as I said in my review, this is the killer feature of the new generation headsets. So compared to the free headsets, we have the Quest 2 that has the perk of having less screen door effect, but of course less clarity because of the lenses, and also it doesn't have the best colors and the best contrast compared to the other two. The Quest 3 has a better screen in terms of clarity, of course, thanks to the lenses, in terms of contrast and in terms of colors, but it shows a bit more the screen door effect. As you can see, is that diagonal line. It's not something that will turn you off from using it like it happened with the first generation headsets, but well, it's still there, a little still noticeable. About the Quest Pro, well, it has the best screen with actually also local dimming. That's why it handled very, very well the very contrasty scenes like we saw in Elite Dangerous, for example. So even being an LCD display, the darks get very, very dark because sections of the screen just turn off completely. The color reproduction is also better than the other two, but the downside of this is that the screen door effect is the most noticeable of the three. In this case, again, for the pancake lenses and also for the fact that the resolution is actually lower than the one on the Meta Quest 2. And that's why when getting to the upgrading part of the question, well, from the Quest 2 to the Quest 3 is actually something that I would do if I use it for PC VR. The image is just so much better. The resolution is a bit higher, so readability is much better as well. And you can also cramp up the encoding and the bitrate because the new processor in here, the XR2 Gen 2, can actually handle it. In this case, we were talking about wired PC VR that is still the best quality, but when we're talking about wireless PC VR, this is miles better than what we can get with a Quest 2 or even with a Quest Pro. When instead talking about upgrading from the Quest Pro to the Quest 2 just for image clarity, well, the thing gets a bit more difficult. I have to say that while I really like the bump in resolution over here, yes, you might have a bit more screen door effect on the Quest Pro, but you actually get better colors, better contrast, and better blacks that for some reason and for some people are much more immersive, just, just resolution. So personally, I still like to use the MetaQuest Pro in some games like Elite Dangerous instead of the MetaQuest 3. It just looks better there. For some other games where, you know, you don't have very dark scenes and something like that, like Assetto Corsa, well, the MetaQuest 3, it's better. Would I upgrade? Would I change from one to the other after the investment that I got on the MetaQuest Pro? No, absolutely, for PC VR, it's still okay, again, minor improvements. But hey, let me know what you think about it in the comment below. Which one would you pick? Do you have the Quest Pro? Are you thinking about upgrading to the Quest 3 just for PC VR? Or do you have the Quest 2? You use it for PC VR and you want to upgrade to the Quest 3 to have better clarity and better resolution. Also better color and contrast. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to leave a like if you like the video and it's helpful because it's really the best way to show this video to more people. And at the same time, if this makes you get the decision of buying the Quest 3, there's a, a link in the description below that you can use that actually helps the channel a lot as well. And it's the same price for you, so nothing changes. But I'm done here. This took very long to make. Now I should have the base to actually do the Pico 4 and the Beyond, I think I want to do. Let me know if you're okay with it uh, in the next video. It's not going to be in the direct next one because I need break a bit from True Dallas's videos, but we're gonna see you soon, as always. Anyway, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like this, like, subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech, if you love the channel, join the button on there, don't further also the Patreon, thanks to all the Patreons, and join the channel, of course, and I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, ciao!